myself a day today. Long grind, short numbers, a lot of little lobster. Day two. <sighs> and uh, lobster definitely aren't, it's definitely not a good year like uh, years past. It happens. Every so many years you get good years and then occasionally you get a bad one. It's day two of regular lobster season and the crew is feeling the effects of early mornings, long days, and tough lobstering. They show up to the lobster spot in the afternoon when the tide slacks up. Around the bridges, the tides are fastest because large amounts of water is trying to move from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic and vice versa. This leaves a narrow window of about 30 minutes of slack tide for divers to get their lobster. Four lobster so far. <laughs> we do pretty good working together. Um, no major problems. Played some tunes on the boat that helped. Um, Time the currents out right, which is good. Just uh, not the lobster we were hoping. They have a little bit of time on either side of the current while it's still slow, but once it picks up, it's moving fast and there's really nothing the divers can do about it. While Jeremy is in the boat and the lobstering is slow, he decides to have a little bit of fun. He rigged up a phone to the boat speaker system to act as a PA system so he could communicate better with everyone in the boat, which currently is only his sister who is standing right next to The crew tries to get their limit before the current picks up, but unfortunately, they are unable to. Um, we worked for them today, we got them, but it was pretty tough. They decide to do a deeper dive and spearfish while looking for the last few lobster later that evening. The deeper spots require a little different technique. Whereas the smaller ledges allow the divers to move in and tickle them out easier. These larger rocks and deeper water structure make it harder for the diver to position their net and easier for the lobster to get to the other structure to hide in. You see on these bigger spots most of the structure is connected and the lobster can easily move around and move in deep enough so that the lobsters can't get in a tickle stick. combat this terrain, they make use of something called a lobster loop. They simply put the loop behind the lobster and over the tail. Then, once the loop is halfway up the lobster, the diver pulls the loop tight and takes the lobster out of the hole. This doesn't require any tickling or net. Just sounds 
Luckily, they're not as thick this year as they have been in years past. It took us about the whole day before we got our limit. So, we're doing alright. I'm tired. And we're gonna get up and try again tomorrow. It'll be a grind, but we'll have to pull a couple tricks up our sleeves, or something like that. Uh, I think that's not how the expression goes when I'm too tired, so. <sighs> Word of the day is <sighs> tiring. Vacancy. Because they ain't there. So, on to day three. Hopefully we'll get some more. You never know what the next day will hold. It's looking pretty tough. As the season is going on and the crew is wearing down, the lobster are getting harder to find and catch. So stay tuned for the next episode of Deadliest Lobster.